hello there welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be doing my pan those eyeshadows finale so if you're interested in seeing if i had hit any last minute goals and my progress overall with this rotation and with all the eyeshadows that i've uh, put into this project then just keep on watching Okay, so let's just first talk about uh, the palettes that I had in this time around. And I'm just going to go off my list. And the first palette that I had is this Kylie the Bronze palette. And I wrote in the shade Citrine. And shade Citrine is this one right here. So this is what that shadow uh Looks like I have a good dip going on in this, but nowhere near pan. I have pan in this shade and it took quite a long, long time. So let me just swatch that. This is what that shade uh, looks like. Overall, the last month, over the last month, I had used this eyeshadow 17 times and this eyeshadow has been in this project for two months i think let me just take a look yes this is the second month that it has been in and overall over the past two months i have used the shadow 28 times and still no pan in sight so that's okay this is the finale so i won't be having this palette in again um well maybe if it gets rolled in uh, next year but for now, I am done. I'm getting kind of sick of these kind of orangey looks. So I'm happy that this finale is has come, to be honest. Uh, next up, I had my Colourpop So Jade palette. And the shade that I rolled in is the shade uh, You're a Gem. Which is another kind of orangey matte. It's this one right here. And yeah, as you saw, very, very little... Um, progress on it these mattes from Colourpop are very very hard pressed so it's very hard to hit pan on them this is what that shadow looks like a little bit different to the citrine one a little bit more it has a little bit more red to it I guess uh, but yeah no pan I had used this shadow 17 times as well uh, over the last month and it took me overall 29 times to have the progress that I have now which is basically minimal. So it probably is going to take about probably a hundred times to hit pan on this. So I am very happy that this is getting, uh, you know, put away. But this is a big palette, so it's probably going to get rolled in very soon. I hope not the shade though, because oh my God, I would be absolutely sick. And the last palette that I had was the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. And I rolled in the shade uh, 4. This was rolled in just uh, last month. And you guys, I managed to hit pan. It's this one right here. It actually only took me 6 times to hit pan because these pans are kind of shallow. So it's not hard. Plus I was using this eyeshadow as a... Uh, kind of as a liner so I was using quite a bit plus I was using it on my lower lash line so I was using a very kind of dense small brush hence why I was able to hit pan on that so this is what that shade uh, looks like but that means this is um, another pan hit which I am so so excited about I'm sad that I wasn't able to pan on these two but that's okay at least if I have one pan every month then I am absolutely uh, thrilled about that because this is a finale let's look at all the eyeshadows that I hit pan over the last year now this project has I did this project for about a year and a half more year or even more than that without taking a break without having a finale but I am just going to wrap up the eyeshadows that I hit pan on in the last year so in 2021 uh, basically so let me just pull up my list and I'm gonna start in chronological order so the first eyeshadow palette uh, the first eyeshadow that I hit pan on in 2021 came from my mercury retrograde palette and I hit pan in the shade galaxy which is this one right here as you can see 
beautiful shiny new pan i'm going to be swatching all of these shadows so bear with me i am hoping to have a good <laughs> angle for that so this is what that shade looks like stunning stunning shade i really like it all over my lid uh, i don't know how many times to check i'm not going to mention that i'm just going to show you all the eyeshadows that i hit pan on so that's number one the next shade that i hit pan on comes from another huda beauty palette and it comes from the new nude palette and i hit pan on the shade daydream which is this one right here it was very similar to um galaxy and they were you know i had them both together so it wasn't ideal but i made it work these shadows like i said these photo shadows are fairly uh, shallow so this is what that looks like beautiful shades like i love Huda beauty palette so it's just gorgeous then i hit pan in my color pop so jaded palette and i hit pan in the shade amethyst and shade amethyst is a uh, purpley shade it's uh, this one right here i am not a fan of these shades because they're kind of you know the satiny shades and they're just not my favorites you have to use a base for them to show up really well but yeah nevertheless it's a really gorgeous uh, gorgeous eyeshadow but i just don't like it because you do have to use a base with it and because my eyes are kind of hooded and they are oily they crease and it's just not ideal next up i hit a pan in my color pop dream street palette so this is what that one looks like and i hit pan in the shade and mermaid boy and mermaid boy is this one right here can you imagine i know uh that was a challenge i have to say but i did manage to do that now this is a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow there you go absolutely uh, stunning next up we're going back to my huda beauty new new all the huda beauty palettes were frequent flyers in my project and color pop palettes because i have those the most anyway i had pan in the shade teddy which is a beautiful beautiful transition uh shade so let me just give you a little swatch of that i was missing some mattes because i kept working on like you know um freaking uh shimmer shades so it was nice to have a matte in a rotation then i hit pan in the color pop the zodiac palette and the shade that i hit pan on is shade virgo that took ages i remember because it's a very stiff hard press formula and i was using this as an eyeliner uh sort of shade and yeah eventually i did hit pan but yeah this is what that shade looks like it wasn't it wasn't a breeze let me tell you then i hit pan in the makeup revolution mermaids bear versus unicorns uh, palette and i got the shade uh, nine which is this one right here it was quite a really pretty shade it was it is one of those mattes that have you know shimmer in them but uh, like it was a matte to be honest let me just give you a swatch of that one right here very subtle i must admit uh, not my favorite shade ever but it got the job done for a um, good few weeks then my color pop so jaded palette got rolled in again and i got the shade alexandrite which was another a purple it's this one right here it is again one of those uh satiny sort of shades from colourpop that do need a base for it to make them kind of show up and look pretty so it wasn't my favorite but yeah the pan is there i have to say then my kylie bronze palette got rolled in and i rolled in the shade at uh, topaz which was this one right here uh it is a beautiful transition shade kind of cool tone transition shade but these pans are quite deep and these shadows are hard pressed so yeah it again was a little bit of a challenge so this is what that one looks like then a different palette got rolled in uh, the sleek also special palette and i rolled in shade nine which is uh, this one right here a very pretty um transition shade again 
Uh, so let me give you a swatch right here. This is what it looks like. Very subtle, beautiful transition shade. Nothing more to add. Then another Huda Beauty palette got rolled in. The Rose Gold Remaster palette this time around. And I hit pan in the shade uh, Fling. So it's this one right here. Just give you a swatch. These shades are kind of weird. Because they're very pigmented. But again, they're kind of satiny. So this is what that one looks like a very very pigmented but again kind of satiny so you do need a base to make it work next up is my huda beauty naughty nude palette and i rolled in oh no which shade fell out fuck they're so soft these shades that you have to be careful like you can't bang this palette around this palette fell actually before i started to film and oh my god i'm just gonna have to they're very soft i'm just gonna have to smush that shade in and hope for the best probably gonna need to use alcohol to kind of repress it well the shade that fell out was please me kind of beautiful taupey shade okay that's pressed in i can give you a swatch if you want there you go, very, very pretty sort of taupey shade, but yeah. Ugh, what can you do? I hope it doesn't fall out again, because I my, my lap is full of eyeshadows. Anyway, I rolled in, <laughs> I hit pan in the shade Tantric, which is this one right here, a beautiful gold kind of shade. Ah, stunning, I really, really enjoyed using that one. I really enjoy color palettes anyway in general so yeah this is what that one looks like next up uh, was my uh, new nude palette and i rolled in the shade infatuated which is actually this glitter after hitting pan on this glitter i said i never ever want to work on a glitter again especially as i'm someone that wears um contacts so it's just not the best for me anyway this is what that glitter looks like very shiny very beautiful but yeah again like i said not something for me at all then my color path so jade palette got rolled in again and i rolled in the shade alexander uh, no uh, smoky quartz which is this beautiful taupe silver right down here it is actually what i'm wearing on my eyes right now on top of a uh, base and i'm it's a stunning, stunning eyeshadows, guys. Look at that. This is a pure, pure metallic. Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. It was it was a pleasure to work with this eyeshadow. Okay, we're, we're very close to the end. And next up, I have my Style London Angel palette. And I was working on shade 8, which is this one right here. And this is what that one looks like. Very pretty shade. Kind of reminds me of the, of the Huda Beauty fling shade. But yeah, thankfully they weren't. I wasn't working on them uh, concurrently. <laughs> this uh, stash is building up. Then I have my Sleek Au Naturel palette. And the shade that I rolled in is a shade 9. Which is this one right here. So let me just give you such of that one. Just a very cool tone, sort of brown. Um, not very pigmented at all. You do have to build up quite a lot, but yeah. It was okay. It, it was just fine. Then I hit pan in and my new nude palette again, and I rolled in the shade uh, Spanked. And the shade Spanked is this one right here. Boom, boom. I, this one is a very soft sort of shade, uh, not very Huda-like, but I did enjoy using it. So this is what that one looks like. And I think lastly now, let me just double check. Yes. And lastly, of course, last one I hit pan in my Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions palette, shade 4. So, this is uh, that one. So that is it, you guys. Over
overall, I have pan on in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 palettes and 18 shades in general. That is a lot. I probably wouldn't have hit pan on in that many shades um, ever if I didn't do this uh, project. This project has helped me a lot that I can actually focus and I can hit pan on shadows if I really want to. And it is fun for me. So I am definitely going to bring back this project next year. I don't know if I will keep it at three shades. It seems like the optimal sort of... Um, uh, quantity for me whereas I'm not feeling o feeling overwhelmed but I can still work through a lot of my eyeshadows so yeah I'm definitely bringing this project back to, back next year uh, but for this year that is actually it I am done this is the finale and I'm so happy about it Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit give this video a like. And also don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.